Hell yeah, look at me. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lancelot, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Oh no, I hit the wrong key. Uh, we have a couple of plans today. Well, let me, let me kind of correct that. We had one plan for today, but then something else happened that I'm about to show you. So now we have two plans for today. And uh, let us... Actually, I need one thing for one of the things first. Then we will be on our way. Also, let me come in here and drop off... We want to have them out? I think out is probably the strat, actually, right? Because they'll heal up passively over here with the uh, feeding trough, which we have... Yeah, we got plenty of food in there. Not even concerned about it. Perfect. Actually, before we go and do anything, we have to name this bad boy. And his name shall hereforth be... Where is options and change name? You guys ready for this? <laughs> you guys ready for this? Ron. <laughs> Ron the dodo. All right, uh, let me take a rebel, grab some water, because I'm getting thirsty right now from our little new and improved sink kitchen thing. Well, actually, nothing's improved. It's actually worse than the first one we had because we don't have our industrial cooker koi yet, but that's fine. We can work with that. Get some water. All right, now I have to grab the one thing with my house, and then I will show you what I found. I think you guys are going to like it a lot. Get a little sneak preview. We're going to be needing this. Also, we made 10 exceptional kibble. That's for the second part of this, but we need this one first. All right, are you guys ready to see this? Wait for it. Wait for it. You can't see my tails in the way. No. Okay, fine. I'll just go land and we'll look at it. Actually, let me kill this stuff first. There you go. Didn't want that guy slithering up in here. It is. I found a unicorn. Look at that. That's so cool. The only thing is, I don't really know how to tame a unicorn, so we're going to have to play this by ear. I think it's a... Like a passive type tame, so I'm gonna take it over probably by my base because that seems to be the safest area, and then I'll tame it up over there. Because I think I have to feed it something and then hop on its back and all that good jazz. While we're flying over there, let's go ahead and put the kibble in the right spot. I, I don't believe I knocked these things out. I'm pretty sure they tame the same as a normal Equus, which is just feeding it and trying to tame it that way. But I do suppose we are about to find out. I'm gonna try and tame it right over by these trees. That way, if it tries to run somewhere, it might get stuck or something. I don't know if that's actually going to work or not. Oh, can it see me, though? I think I have to sneak up on it, right? Wow. 97? Come on! <laughs> Yo, okay, I just need one more. I was going to use the exceptional kibble, but I don't know how much we're going to need for part two, so I'm holding off on that. 97's not bad at all. You know what I should have made before I got out here, though? An Equus saddle. I did not think about that. Can I make that in my own thing? No, it's probably a smithy. That's fine. We can lure this bad boy back over to the uh, the main house when we're done. But yeah, I was just farming some berries for the kibble production and all that good jazz. Oh. For the kibble production and all that good jazz. And then out of nowhere, this thing just showed up. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you guys don't mind this little detour, but we are getting this unicorn. I want to keep Rebel around just in case, because I know raptors and stuff can spawn over here. The Trudon's over there. I don't think we'll have to worry about it this far away from that area, but I'm also, you know, I am not trying to risk it. The question is, when will the second feed be ready? I have no idea. Not yet, okay. You gonna go say hi to Rebel? Actually, can I put it on my tame tracker and see? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, 2100... Okay, so it definitely needs a little bit more for sure. I think I have to get it down to about 100 lower, and then we're good. Oh, you are going way over there, though. Hold on. Oh, wait. Did it take off? Oh, it's running. Wait, did I startle it or something? Oh, I might have startled it. No. That's fine. It should stop running at some point, right? I just got to hope nothing kills it in the meantime. Oh, I hope I didn't jack this up too bad. Okay, okay. It looks like it stopped right there. Or it's falling down and then this oh this is not where it needs to be let me tell you this is a bad spot to be equus okay on the plus side it is done running though so that's a big win yeah let's just hang out and wait for the food to go down and then we'll go over and tame it i don't see anything super sketch in the area minus these bugs we're getting to a very very dangerous area though okay that should be more than enough should be all i really need let's get over here and try and get this thing quick don't turn around on me. Just keep walking into that parasaur. Yep, it's going to turn. I had a feeling. All right, we should be good. Should be good. Should be good. Wait, why well, didn't want food there? I wonder if it has to go down by more. It's down by 200 right now. Oh, is it bugged out? Bro, this thing's staring me down. What's going on here? Bro, 
I can't catch a break on this thing. Whoa, what is this thing doing? Just walk in a straight line for a second, please. Yeah, it doesn't want more food yet. How much does that have to go down by, I wonder? I don't know. Maybe I broke it or something? I'm not sure. Because I keep seeing zero pop up on there. I'm not sure what that means, though. Yeah, see, zero. But then 97. What is that? I don't know. Something seems a little bugged here. Its food is definitely lower, though. I mean, that's got to be more than enough for kibble, right? There's no way it needs to go down that much. We're almost looking at 400. Ooh, okay. RG killed a raptor. That's good. Oh, there's more over there, though. Come on, RG. You got this. Oh, thank God. Okay. Ooh, I was worried there. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, I jacked it up. I thought maybe I had to hop on to ride it or something. Crap, man. Okay, I'm messing this all. Yeah, now she's down at zero. Crap. Okay. And what did I do wrong the first time, though? It's, it's in such a bad spot now as well. I'm not a fan of where this thing is at at all. Is its food still low, though? Yes, food is still low. Maybe it was just a time thing. That's got to be it, right? It had to just be like a time thing or something. I have no idea. Come on, man. I thought we had that for sure. Oh, it's running right in the swamp. This is so not a good place for you to be, unicorn. Oh, it's still sprinting, too. I might just have to risk it and pick it up. It's for sure going to get eaten out here. Oh, yeah, there's a circle right there. It's running at a circle. Come on now. Yeah, we're going to have to risk it. I, I don't want to have to, but it's got to go back to base. This is too sketchy of an area. Oh, man, I can't believe I jacked that up. This sucks. This was supposed to go a lot... In my head, this went a lot smoother, I promise. In my mind, this went so much smoother than what's happening right now. So we're going to set it back down and see if it's still running. That was an unfortunate waste of kibble, though. But that's fine. As long as we can get it. I'm okay if we can get it. We just got to get it to stop running. And then I think we just... I think I just have to wait more. I think maybe I tried too soon or something. Even though its food was low, I think I just, you know, tried too soon. Okay, so it's still running, though. I wonder how long it's going to run for. Oh, I thought it was done, but it's still going. If you just stay in those trees right there, that'd be huge. This is one of the downsides to living near a swamp. Also, those things are, uh, these brontos, not those things. These brontos are laying eggs like crazy. What if I go land on my roof and just chill for a little bit, yeah? Maybe just try that. I'm, I have no idea. I'm really not sure why I couldn't feed it that uh, second time there. Oh, I might have stopped running, so that's good. Or it's being eaten by something. One of the two. So let's try this again. And hopefully I don't mess it up. I really do want this unicorn. And I know I can get it. I'm, I know I can. So now we just wait, right? I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes and then try again. Because technically its food should be low enough right now. Yeah, its food is more than low enough right now. But maybe it's just a time thing. I don't know. We're going to give it some time. Hopefully that does the trick. So we'll just kind of wait on this rock and hopefully it keeps walking this way. I don't want to pick it up again right now because I think that might startle it or ruin the taming effectiveness. But don't want it to go near that swamp. There's so much bet. Maybe I could preemptively clear down that way just to be safe. That might be a good idea. I'm going to go. I'm going to go double check just because the food is way lower than last time. So I'm going to give it a shot and see. But I really don't think this is going to work right now. I'm almost positive it won't. Yeah, no, see, that's not ready. Yeah, not ready. So I think we just hang out. We give it a couple of minutes and then, uh, I don't know. And then we should be good. Maybe. I have no idea. I'm probably doing this completely wrong, but oh well. You know what I just kind of realized? I've never done hunger for these, like, passive tames. So I don't know why I was thinking to be hunger. It's definitely got to be a time thing. Because I'm thinking about it with the monkey thing, the uh, otter thing, all like all that. The monkey, the otter, what else have I passive tamed before? They're the only two coming to mind, but it's never worrying about hunger. It's just a time thing. You just wait for it to want to be fed again. So I think I definitely, if I had waited just a little bit longer over there, I probably would have been fine. That was definitely my bad. I think I jacked it up. While we wait for this, I do want to say I got a new flavor of G Fuel, though. It's the peach, peach rings one. There we go. Man, it is uh, it is solid. Let me tell you that. Much better than Funfetti cake with water. <laughs> that was, it wasn't bad. It was just different. It had a unique flavor palette, we'll call it. <laughs> uh, you guys think it's ready yet? I don't. We're going to keep waiting. 
No, what happened? Wait, what's happening? Why is it getting low? What did I do? I did I was just standing on the roof. What did I do? No, oh, I have no idea what just happened. Okay. I'm just gonna go and put it back in this little box over here and see. I have no idea what I did wrong there. I was just kind of sitting on the roof and it decided it didn't want to be tamed anymore, I guess. I have no idea. Let's drop it in here and see if I can actually do anything with it. I'm losing a taming effect on this so bad. Like, granted, it's not a creature I'm going to use on the regular, but still. It doesn't feel good to see that number going down. Guys, I'm so good. Okay, you know what? We're going to leave... We're going to leave that in here. And just pretend it's not a thing for a while. We'll come back to it. <laughs> what am I doing wrong with you? I have no idea. Hopefully it stays in here. Okay, let's get it off the taming tracker, though. I don't need it to be there anymore. Equus, please behave. Do, uh... Do good things in here. Rebel... Let's, uh, let's go do what we were going to do originally until that happened. I really don't know what I did wrong. I might have to look up a tutorial or something because that confused the heck out of me right there. All right, guys, I had to do a bit of quick base organization, but we are good to go now. I will give you a little hint before we get there. I have some scuba. I have Steve. I have exceptional kibble. Take a guess now in the comments. Let me know where you think we're going, but it's going to be freaking awesome. All right, guys, if you have not guessed it already, we are going to get a Basilosaurus today. That is the plan. Because I will still take Steve down in that cave below, but I also want to have a creature kind of dedicated to it because I plan on building a base right off the shore where the cave is so I can quickly just travel there on my... Or, sorry, put a bed in there, fast travel there. But yeah, that way we get us fast travel, run down, do a quick cave loot run, and then if there's anything good, we'll fly back with a flyer and get it. Are you trying to get me? What are you doing, buddy? 66. Watch this. I'm so much faster than you. <laughs> but so that is the plan. Just because, you know, I probably can outrun everything with Steve. I'm pretty sure I could. I don't have my scuba on just yet. Got to remember that. I don't want to put it on until I get over there and, you know, I have to stay underwater for a long time. I'm not trying to use any of its durability right now. But I think Steve could outswim everything. I do want to have something that's immune to the jellies and the eels, though. That would just make me a lot happier and put me at ease. I also think if I get a really good one, or if I can get two really good ones, I can probably uh, breed them together and then use that maybe for the hard underwater cave because there's just Steve's not surviving that. I, I can guarantee you that, 100%. They've got alpha everything down there. Alpha Moses, alpha... Um, what are the squid things called? Whatever those are called, I can't think of their name right now, but Alpha Squids, they got crazy stuff in that cave. So there's absolutely no way Steve can handle that. And I'm not risking Steve, look at him. I can't risk Steve for that. So we need a dedicated underwater cave tame. But yeah, that is the goal for the remainder of this video is to get a to get a Basilo. And if we can, if I can figure out how at the end, I'll try and retame that uh, that unicorn. I just, I don't know what I did wrong. I have no idea. But priorities are priorities. Let's try and get this Basilo first. Now, I believe they stay in somewhat shallow water. So I'm trying to hang out near the coast. I'm also going down to Herbivore Island because I know I've seen them there a lot before. Like, I always tend to see some just kind of floating around in that area. So I'm hoping that if I can go over there, I can find a couple in, or at least one, and get a decent level one. The only thing is, this one, this is going to be one of those tames that we can't really skimp on. We are going to have to make sure it's a decent level when we tame it. That's why I have 10 exceptional kibble. I don't think I'll need more than that. Even for a max level, I really don't think I'll need more than 10. But since this will be a caving creature, it can't be anything too weak. So we're probably going to have to kill a good couple of them. But Steve can handle that no problem. All right, so I know I've seen him in this area. So I think we're going to go ahead and scuba on right now. I might even put the goggles on for the extended visibility. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but I'm going to try it out. But I've seen plenty of them over here. So hopefully luck is with us today. Anything less than like a 150 is just not going to cut it. Because our max is 180 right now. That's a Mosa down there. Holy crap. That's terrifying. I, ooh, I do have that Journeyman Mosa saddle. I'm not going to tame it right now. God, those things are creepy looking. A 90 as well. Okay, that's half a max level. Dude, oh, ooh, that's creepy. I hate it. All right, let's just keep on keeping on. We have a goal. We got to find a Basilo. We have to. Oh, that's a lot of stingrays. Yes, perfect. Okay. That's the other tell is all the stingrays. Is this that same level six, though? It is. All right, let's go ahead and just knock this out. Dude, these mantas do a lot of damage in these schools like this. That is crazy amounts of damage. I might got to find a better way to get rid of them on these 
Basilos. This thing's actually really tanky for a level six. Are you, did you guys see the amount of oil I just got? Holy crap. Dude, that's nuts. I might keep a little on me, but we just that's something we just can't afford to hold. That was absurd. That's so much oil from those things. This is actually my first time ever as well, having this uh, Basilosaurus blubber. Never have I seen that before. At least not in person, not on not on my character. I've obviously seen it on the YouTubes, but you know, not my person. All right, where else might we be? Dude, killing any higher level is gonna be kind of hard. That thing was super tanky. That took a lot of damage for being a level six. That was absurd. I could probably kill something and get some fish meat on me so my stamina and health keeps going back up as well. I'm thinking about that and it seems silly to not do it. This is Megalodoodle, what level are you? 150, okay, maybe we're not gonna kill that one. It's gonna take too long. Are you a bad Megalodoodle? I can't see Steve's head isn't, oh, you're an alpha. Okay, what is going on over here, guys? We are, we're in the mix. Are you a bad level? A 90 or a, what are you? 66, yeah, but now they got the little bone. Golly, okay, I'm down horrendous. This is how you know I need a, a stronger water creature is if I'm just going away from stuff like that. And I know there was such good uh, Megalodons over here. I ought to come over here to tame one. Oh, an 18, you are exactly what I'm looking for, friend. Thank you so much for your generous contribution to the Save Steve Fund. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to keep swimming around and just murdering everything around the island. Hopefully, I can get something good to spawn, but I will I will see you when something noteworthy happens. All right, guys, we finally found something moderately decent. Hopefully, I can find it again. It was somewhere, I think, right down in front of me. It was super deep, though, and there was a whole bunch of megalodons and everything, so I tried to clear some of them out. I could get better access, but don't remember whereabouts it was. Somewhere near these rock formations, maybe? Oh, another Alpha Megalodon. What do you mean? Oh, and the Moza. Oh, God, that thing is absolutely terrifying. Okay, so it wasn't this far over. I think it was this direction, I believe. It was a pretty decent level, though. Just in time, too, because I only have one more scuba tank. I thought I would only need two. I probably should have brought three, but oh well. Okay, so that's the 18, I think. Yeah, that's the 18. So it was somewhere over here. I just have to find it now. And not get killed by a most in the process. I really hope nothing happened to it. I don't see what could have happened to it, but yeah, I mean, it's arc. You never know. Definitely need to keep an eye on the scuba tank as well, because I'm going to have to switch it pretty soon after it breaks. Dude, I swear it was over here, I thought. Ah, oh, come on now. I brought you guys back for nothing. Crap, okay. <laughs> Give me a second to refind it. Oh, oh, that might be it right there, actually. That's a 48. Oh, God, that lead stick just scared me. Do y'all see that? Holy crap, that scared the heck out of me. Okay, where is the one I saw? Give me... Oh, oh. Nope, we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, give me a few minutes, unless this is it. If it is, we're good. If not, there it is. Yeah, 132. Okay, perfect. How much do I have on the scuba right here? Uh, we are going to preemptively switch. I am not trying to deal with that in the middle of this. Try and get this flock of stingy rays off of it. Bro, these mantas do so much damage, by the way. It is actually kind of insane. Look at that. That's hundreds of damage in just mere seconds. That's a lot of damage. It looks like I have an entourage of megalodons as well. What is this? Bro, just let me feed this basilo. So what I need to do is before I fight these guys, I want to get my first kibble on because I know it takes a long time in between feeds. I want to get that first one going before anything happens, which I'm hoping if I just come over here right now, you're still the one I want, correct? Yeah, 132. Hey, perfect. Let me get back on my guy. Swim over here. And then we'll start killing these. I just got to make sure no more mantas get on it, basically. Because if the mantas get back on, I risk hitting it while I'm taming it. And we really don't want that. But I will say, a 132 is definitely not bad. Anything less than like a 150 is just not going to cut it. I don't want to take too much of a beating from these sharks, though. Okay, hold on. Let's be smart about this. 
Don't want to take too much of a beating, because I'm going to have to fight more of the Mantas, but I need these things dead, like, now. That way, if Mantas are coming, I can see them and everything and actually go fight them. Dude, this little pack bonus they get actually does a lot, too, because that was only an 18, and it took that much. Okay, the dolphin I can live with. I'm not worried about a dolphin at all. It's still the 132. So now we just kind of swim around and keep our eyes peeled for stuff like this manta here. Didn't I kill you? Did I really not kill that thing? I thought I did. <laughs> Whoops. So I know it's going to be a good while before I can feed it again. And I'm I'm pretty chill with that. That's not a problem for me right now. Oh, nine damage, you poor shark doodle. I just have to stay in the vicinity. I have a fresh, fresh tank. Oh, is that a Dunkleo? Those things hurt, don't they? Yeah. Oh, you look creepy. I don't like it. Okay, this is going good so far. Knock on wood. Everything is all right. Uh, Megalodoodle over there might spot me. Did it? They, they aggro from a very long distance, though. That is the thing. I wonder if these dolphins will try and get me if I feed it. I don't think so. Dolphins are pretty passive, right? All right, let me swim back past and then back in front. I don't think I can, like, spook it or anything. Unless I just spooked it, of course, which I don't think I did, but... Okay, so not ready to eat yet. That's fine. That's fine. This first one takes forever. I do know the first one takes a long time. So now it is just a waiting game. The dolphins should be fine. I just got to wait for mantas. Like I've said 18,000 times, but I don't want any of them to get back on there. Because the issue is if any of them get back on there and I have to like swim up and try and get them, I risk hitting it and then losing taming effectiveness. And that is not at all what we want. It's so surreal down here. It's... So creepy. <laughs> oh god, I hate it. I don't know how long between these feeds though. I wish I had like a general idea of how long, but I mean, you know, you can't win them all. These dead megalodons keep freaking me out. I want to go clear them out, but I also don't. I'll just I'll just leave them where they're at for now. Not a problem. We just keep on waiting. The 132 is not bad though. Let me tell you, 132 is a decent find. Anything less than like a 150 is just not gonna cut it. Especially for my first Basilo ever, I will, I will gladly take that. All right, let's stay close. Make sure nothing's spawning in around it. What's at the surface? Oh, that is so cool. It actually does that. Oh, it didn't go to the surface. Never mind. I thought it was going to the surface to do this little blowhole thingy, but I guess not. Oh, sorry if it's dark in here. By the way, I think it's kind of getting a little nighttime outside. So, not much we can do against that. Oh, I see a manta over there. Do you guys see that one? Yeah, huh? I see you. I see you, you son of a bitch. What are we trying to do here? What are we? Oh, it's getting so dark. Oh my. Oh. Okay. 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 It's. It's. You know what? It's fine. It is what it is. You can't win them all. Holy crap! I hate this though. This is so spooky. <laughs> this is spooky, dude. Oh, wait till it's hungry. Still. Okay. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to see stuff coming at us. Oh my. God, it's so creepy. Do I have my mask on? I wonder what it looks like without this. Like, like, okay. Nope, no, 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 Not doing that. Absolutely not. You can miss me with that horror shit. Oh, this is creepy. I, ooh, I am physically a bit uncomfy right now. Oh, is it going over towards this manta? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I gotta get this manta real quick. All right, target neutralized. Dude, this is so creepy. <laughs> God, I hate it, man. Wait till it's hungry again. We're Steve, we're Steve, we're Steve, we're Steve. Oh, can you tell I don't like the water? I just panicked so hard right there. What level are these Dunkleos? We got a 24. And, uh, oh, there it was. Lost it again. And an 18. Okay, not, not high levels, but I think they do really, really good damage or something. I feel like I've heard that at some point. Dude, people are not joking about how long it takes for this first feed. I've been waiting. Oh, it's right there, though. Come on. Yeah, just, just swim away from the Dunkleo, please. I don't know if I should dismount Steve while I'm over there. Or while they're over there. All right, on the plus side, we've not had to deal with too many Mantas, so that is definitely a good thing. Hello, Dolphin. Oh, do we risk it right now? Oh, I want to try, but these Dunkleos are right on them. Yeah, let's give it a second. Let's just give it a second and wait. I don't want to do it and have those aggro me for no reason. That would be a silly waste. I wonder if they're actually passive. I have no idea. I do not know much about the Dunkleo whatsoever. But they're not aggroing from this range, so maybe they're passive? All right, we're going to go take a little check-see real quick. 
Hey, perfect, perfect. Got the first one or the second one down. That is huge. Oh, that is really big. So these next ones should go pretty quick. And we're looking at almost halfway. So we're going to need five. We'll need five feeds. We can, we can make that work. We can definitely do that. You will be mine, whale creature. You will be mine. You know what? I should have brought the saddle. Can I make a saddle? I don't, I don't think I can. Nah, it's going to be a, at least a smithy thing. Maybe a fabricator. Actually, do I have any good Bastolo saddles at home? I need to check that before I make one when I get back. I don't think I got any. I think I just got one for the Mosasaur, but uh, you never know. Oh, hello, Manta bitch. Got to stay on top of these things. But I doubt it's ready so soon, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh, it is. It is. It is. Okay, yeah, these 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 in-between ones don't take any time at all. Dude, that lead sickness coming up right there is nightmare fuel. You guys know that phobia, the Thazla phobia, whatever it is? Yeah, that's low-key me. Like, I'm not shaking in my britches right now, but I am physically uncomfortable in my chair. My calves have been have been um flex this entire time that's i don't know that's just something i do if i ever get nervous something about my calves flexing makes me feel better Ooh, it's just creepy can't really flex my arms though you'll see the screen shake like this dude that's so scary get out of here leave me alone i just want the smaller of the whales look at that it's crazy Okay, so these Dunkleos might actually be relatively passive. It's not trying to do anything to me, which I greatly appreciate. I don't think it understands how much I appreciate that. What a nice creature. I am no longer a Dunkleo hater. I love them. You're still a little too... I, I, okay, listen, I love you, but not that much. You could just keep your distance. That'd be huge. All right, it has been a sub substantially decent amount of time, I think. Let's go. One more, one more, one more. We got this. We got this, guys. 100% we got this. These dolphins are around here protecting me. My G fuel is gone, so I'm just living on nerves now. Oh, yeah. Oh, we are about to have this thing so good. We are about to have it so good. Wait. Manta. I see you over here. I see you over here trying to ruin my whole plan. Come here, bitch. That's right. There's more where that came from. Tell your friends. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, it is so... Oh, God, that spawning it scared me. It is so peaceful, but it's just... I hate not knowing what's right there. And what's right there. And what's right there. It's just... The, the, I can't see. That's what gets me. I just have no idea what's around, and that's the scary part of it. That's right, so a final final feed. Yes! Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, where are you going? Oh, hold on, hold on. That does that weird thing, right? It makes everything want to attack me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I good? Okay, okay. I thought for some reason that's going to make everything want to attack me. Get in my cryopod, bassy. Oh, oh, God, it was a dolphin. Sweet Jesus, why are you like this? What did that team up to? A 47? A 197. That's huge. We have 14k health and 300 melee. Is that good? That feels good. That's got to be good, right? That's got to be good, right? Dude, that dolphin absolutely terrified me. Is that that 18 over there? It is. We're going to go ahead and kill it, because at some point I do want to come back out here and find some more. But we'll probably use our Basilo for that. Dude, the amount of oil we get from that is absolutely insane. Oh, I didn't get no blubber this time. No. We'll take a little more oil, just because I can probably never have too much of it. And then just dump all. Of, you know what? Let's do it the easy way. There we go. All right, this was a female, correct, right? Yeah, female. Nice. Dude, that's, those have got to be good stats. I feel like I got all the points in the two stats I wanted, which is phenomenal. Which actually means I could... Ooh, maybe I could get a low-level one. Maybe I should have checked if that 18 was a... Oh, man. I'm just... Fuck. I don't know if those points are good or not. I feel like they are. I'm just not entirely sure. So, because if they were and that 18 was a male, I could have just tamed that male and then bred them together and had a imprinted one, you know? That probably would have been a much smarter idea than murdering that male for no reason, but oh well. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, let's get home. Let's get a saddle on this bad boy and then take it for a spin and see how it is. Oh, dude, it feels so good having this. Let me tell you. Soon these. Stupid little jellies won't mean nothing to me. You guys suck. Wait till I get back here with my friend. Wait till I get back here. 
I do need to make more kibble if we are going to tame another high level one though, because that was a 130 something it was, and it took five. So if we tame anything higher than that, we do not have enough right now. But we're getting plenty of eggs back at base, so I'm not not super stressed about actually making it. I just need to remember to make it before I try and come out and tame something and screw myself over. What I probably could do is take that off as well. I'm not diving too deep anymore, so I can just... I'm going to look for another one on the way, just in case. If I can find a low-level male, I will tame it right now. Although, Herbivore Island does seem like the place to go. I imagine they probably spawn all across the place. Or, not the place, the island. Let me put on this bad one again. I just use it up before I repair it. It seems silly not to, you know, take advantage of it because I think the repair cost is the same no matter what. So I might as well get the most use out of it. And if I am wrong about that, please correct me in the comments below. Uh oh, eels. Yeah, I don't want none of that. You can miss me out here. Goodbye, bitch. Oh, another Mosa. Wonder what level that is. God, that's creepy looking, dude. Dude, underwater stuff is the scariest. Let me tell you, it's absolutely terrifying. What level? Oh, only an 18. We definitely should get a Mosa at some point. I think that'd be pretty cool to have. Oh, man. I know the screen is very dark. I do apologize, but, you know, it's nighttime. There's not much I can do. Oh, there goes that. Good thing I have my backup. <laughs> Ooh, that noise scared the heck out of me, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm right, just doing a quick scan of this kind of shallow area. I know my base is somewhere right up here, so I want to go get the saddle, but I wanted to see if there was maybe... Something right there we could have got. Alas, there was not though. All right, guys, I have my uh, scuba all repaired up now for next time we need it, which I guess I will keep one set of it on me right now, to be fair. Gonna need that, gonna need that, that, and now that bad boy. I got all of my little tribute things in there. Let's go ahead and put you back in the refrigerator. So we still have five, that's not bad. We can tame something of decent-ish level. I'm gonna use this as my oil storage for now. I could make a lot of gasoline, but I really don't need that. I do want to see what is up with this little uh, hat thing. Can I put this hat on there? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Hell yeah, look at me. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. We're keeping this hat on. This hat is for sure staying with me. I wonder if I can put it on a scuba mask, actually. No. Okay, unfortunately not. Oh, actually, hold on. I have to remove it. That's why. Hold on. I'm stupid. I figured it out. I figured it out. So let's put th this over here. Can I put the hat on that? Dude, I can be an underwater cowboy. <laughs> let's go, dude. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, we'll just put this back on for now, though. All right, I also checked all of my crates. There is no bassy saddle, so let's see if we can make it in here. I can. What do I need? Metal ingots. I think all of them are in the fabricator, but I know I have at least 55 of them for sure. Yeah, I do. We'll take these bad boys here. Hey, it's done. All right. Perfect. Let's go get back over to the water and try this bad boy out. I did as well. I took a picture of the stats, so I have them for breeding purposes later because I know any of the stats I pump into it right now are not going to count. But I'm not going to be waiting to get a bread one to go do caves and all that good jazz. So, I have the picture. I can just reference that later when I need to. Everything should be fine. Unless somehow I lose the picture. But, you know, I don't see that happening. But it is me. So it might happen. Oh, Steve. We're back, buddy. Hello. All right. Let us chuck this glorious beast right over here in the deep end. <laughs> hey, dude. Let's go. Look at this. Oh, hell yeah. Let's put this on before I forget. Oh, no, no. Everything's going downhill. Bessie, please. Steve, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Get that damn Megalodon. <laughs> Sucker. I have an underwater armada. You can't kill us. How dare he come up and do that to me, though? Looks like Steve is stuck in a rock, which is a little concerning. Oh, he got out. Nice. Okay, now that that unfortunate event is over... Oh, look, he already made friends. Oh, so cute. Now we'll put this on. Oh, dude, look at us. Let's go. Super slow, but so awesome. Okay, so I have what? A bite? That doesn't do anything. You can't make a rainbow. <laughs> Let's go, dude. That's so cool. I saw that somewhere and I wanted to try it. All right, Megalodoodle. Bring that ass here. So what do we do base damage? 145. Okay. That is unleveled 
Ooh, it attacks fast, too. Yeah, these things can't get me anymore. Look at this. That's so much biotoxin. Holy crap. Seven points. So let's get... We're going to get a lot of health because I think I'm going to need it. I want to get to, like, 20-something K health, and we'll go from there. What is this? Oh, oil. Okay, cool. Yeah, I feel like 20-something K health on this guy should be relatively fine. And then we'll do a whole bunch of damage. But that damage is good. That damage starting at 145 is not bad at all. And I think we could probably just use this to hunt for more bassies. Doesn't have the greatest, ra uh, like, range of attack on its side, but it turns pretty well. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be so good. I'm almost at 20k health already. Dude, this thing is a beast. Dude, I cannot wait to get this leveled up. I actually, I can't wait to get one bred up and then imprinted. That's going to be insane, I think. Because I can probably get this thing starting around 20k health base. I'm not actually sure what good stats are on this thing. I know, I've, I think I've seen videos where people have like 40k health or something with them. Which is, I mean, that's pretty gnarly to me. Oh, stamina's out. Uh-oh. How quick does stamina come back? I mean, that comes back pretty quick. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Oh, yeah, this thing is going to be a monster, guys. An absolute monster. Oh, can we kill that Plessy? Let's try. Let's go. Get over here, boy. Oh, that thing's actually doing some damage. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I think we'll be fine. I think it's doing some damage, though. Got the Megalodon. Not bad. Oh, yeah, no match. No match at all. Dude, I have so much stuff. Look at that. Is that enough? Do we think? I, I feel like that's enough. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below, like, what I should level this thing up to. I don't want to do too much leveling right now, but I definitely want some. Why do I have a firework flare gun? I don't have a flare gun. Maybe I should get one for fireworks, though. Oh, this thing is insane. Dude, I love this thing so much. Let's go. All right, drop some name suggestions down below. We are going to need them. What is on me right now? Oh, another Plessy. What the heck? There's two more coming to help his brother out. Oh, no. Uh-oh. All right, we're kind of getting ganged up on right here, though. This is going to be interesting. I think we can handle this, though. I'm pretty sure this won't be a problem. Okay, I'm definitely taking a beating to an extent, though. I think it's those mantas more than anything. Those mantas were right behind me getting me. All right, I'm going to swim over here, let my stamina come up, pump a couple more into melee. Okay, these things are actually a lot tougher than I thought. What's going on here? I cannot outswim them either. That's kind of unfortunate. Let's just get back to the shallows and see if they'll follow me. Oh, I keep running out of stamina too, though. I think I'm going to have to take a little bit of a beating for a second. Okay, I got to run. I got to run. I keep running out of stamina, which is not good for your boy. Okay, they went away. Holy crap. Why is that so tough? Okay, so it definitely does have that regeneration thing in shallow water like this. Look at how fast that's going up. Like, I'm forward speeding. Like, if I stop forward speeding, this is how fast it goes by itself. But force feeding definitely speeds that along. So that's not bad. As long as I can get somewhere back to shallow water in a decent time, I can take on a lot of fights, tank a lot of damage, and then just go back in and not too long of a time. Because we're almost at 11k health already. I'm going back for those plessies. I refuse. There is no way they're getting the best of me. Question is, where'd they go? They probably went all the way back down or something. Those bastards, come fight me, you scumbags ganging up on me then running how dare how dare they there they are you losers daddy wasn't finished with you boy there we go got one <laughs> let's go other two next i feel like these things are decent level they're taking a beating for sure oh you know what they might be uh mate boosted as well there we go i only a only a 48 dang i wonder how good these things are as tames i have no idea I feel like this one's got to be a good level because it's barely bloody. Watch this be like a max level or something and I'm just killing it. Dude, a, four, a 48. That's crazy that it does that much damage as a 48. Got more levels though. Oh, four more. Nice. I'm just going to pump a whole bunch of melee now. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, dude, this thing is so cool. I absolutely love it. All right, drop a name down below. Let me know what we want to name this guy. Listen, I'm thinking Blubber Boy. I like the name Blubber Boy so much. Oh, that, that freaking dolphin scared the shit out of me. God dang it. 
Oh, but yeah, drop a drop some comments down below. Let me know what we want to name it. And I think we're gonna go ahead and call that one. Oh no, I can get in its mouth. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I think we're gonna go ahead and call that one here because next episode. We are going into the first underwater cave. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see the rest of the series, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in the next one.